David James. Welcome to my kitchen. Today I'm going to show you how to make delicious restaurant style egg rolls. I've decided to use pork, but you can definitely substitute ground chicken in this recipe if you so desire or create them 100% vegetarian. First what we're going to start off with is an egg roll wrapper. These are actually made of wheat and then dusted with cornstarch. You're going to lay that down on your board like this. In this bowl, I've got a mixture of julienned carrots, julienned broccoli stems, red cabbage, and green cabbage. This is going to be your base for the egg roll. If you wanted to make this vegetarian, you can add shiitake mushrooms, you could add bean sprouts. Really let your imagination go wild and have fun with this. But this is the base that I am using for today. Over here in this bowl, I have got some sauteed ground pork. This is free range pork. You're gonna go ahead and take a heaping tablespoon of this and put it right in the center of your egg roll wrapper. Here on the board, I've prepared the egg roll wrapper in a diamond shape rather than a square. This is an important tip that will help you roll this egg roll in just a moment. So we've got our pork right on there. We're going to pinch some of this cabbage and julienne broccoli and carrot mixture right here on the top. And then a unique ingredient, coarse ground black pepper. You would think, hmm, that's kind of odd in an oriental dish, but I'm telling you, this is what makes it. So now we've got our egg roll wrapper loaded up, and you're going to fold this in the shape of an envelope. You're going to take the bottom and go to the top. You're going to pull all the ingredients back, bundling them inside. And then what I do is I have a bowl of cold water here that I dip my fingers into. What you're going to do is you're going to wet the edges of this egg roll wrapper so that when you're folding this, the cornstarch acts as a sealant. So you fold in one side, you fold in the other side, and then with your pushing off with your pinkies here, you're going to go ahead and continue the roll that you've already wet. And there you have it, a sealed egg roll. So now we have these egg rolls rolled and I am using a deep fryer here and I'm going to go ahead and drop these in. You want these to come out looking golden brown, just like this. That takes about two minutes with the egg rolls at 375 degrees. If you do not have a deep fat fryer like this, you can use vegetable oil, which is what I'm using in the fryer, and you can do this on the stovetop. This is a Japanese spider. Now what I'm going to do when I put these in the fryer like this is I'm going to use the basket that you would normally fry in to actually hold these egg rolls submerged in the hot oil on top of the egg rolls, just like this. And they're going to fry, like I said, for about two minutes. Now if, like if you do not have a fryer, you can always do this on the stovetop. Use this Japanese spider to keep the egg rolls submerged. I don't do more than five or six at a time. You're going to want to do these in small batches. Typically, these egg roll wrappers come in packages of 20. So you will have to do four small batches of five of this to keep it simple. And now these egg rolls are done. Look at them out of the fryer. They are, they are crispy. They are golden brown. They are exactly what you're looking for in the perfect egg roll. Go ahead and remove these from the fryer to a lined platter and then continue the process. Make sure you have more than one per person because they're going to be coming back for more. From my kitchen to yours,